Hello, hello. If you are selling real estate in the city of Windsor, you must watch this video. There is a massive chase to lower competing realtor commission. Everybody is listing their house at 2% competing broker commission. And when you sit with a professional realtor that asks you for a 2% commission, you should be firing them instantly. They do not have your best interests at heart and they are not a professional realtor in my view. It's my opinion. And here's why. Number one, you get to choose the commission structure that you list your house at. You get to choose it. Nobody else chooses that for you. A realtor is simply a facilitator of a transaction. That's all that they're doing for you. They are simply facilitating the transaction to sell your house on the MLS. It's the biggest thing that a realtor does. Now, other realtors like myself have all kinds of degrees and designations, so we get into the minutia of real estate and the professionalism of real estate. We do extra things like have professional photography and professional video done of the house. We do special things like we blast it to our massive group of realtors across Canada and across the United States because I'm part of a massive and rapidly growing real estate brokerage. I just referred out some business today to Chelsea, Michigan, and to Murphy, North Carolina. I have another client that's moving to Tennessee, so I've got that out to that realtor out there as well, too. That's what a professional realtor does. We help people wherever they're going to. And as part of Real, I have a massive network. So my sister was moving to Murphy, North Carolina. All I had to do was go into Real and say, Murphy, North Carolina, hello, anybody there? And Sarah immediately, within seconds, responded to me, yeah, I live right here in Murphy. I'm married, five kids, specialize in Murphy, moved here about two years ago. Would be more than happy to help your sister move here to Murphy. That's what a professional realtor does, assists people to facilitate the transaction in real estate, anywhere that we operate. Now, Real is the fastest growing brokerage in, in Canada and in the United States. So even in Murphy, North Carolina, I had a person respond in seconds to me. Absolutely, yes, ready to go. Over in Chelsea, Michigan, of course I got a team over in Chelsea, Michigan. Down in the, the, the hills of Tennessee, yes, I've got one specialist in Tennessee in the Tri-Cities area of Tennessee. So that's what a professional realtor does. A professional realtor also pays attention to the math of real estate in the market in which they serve. That's what I'm doing here with this particular video. So what I've done is I've gone through all of the competing broker commissions, two, two and a half, 2.25, and I've added up how well they performed compared to the average over, which was $34,000, I rounded it up, average $34,000, average over, okay? Added them up, divided them out, did the math, and here's what I found. So a house that was listed at 2% commission underperformed tremendously. It only received 86.78% on average of the average over bid. The average over bid was $34,000. I rounded it up. So a house, a seller of a house who listed their house at 2.0% commission, only on average got 29505 over. That's all they got, 29505 Because they... Cheaped out on the commission structure for the competing broker. Now, I don't care what you pay the listing realtor. As you know, I take listings at 2%. That's my flat rate, 2%. And I do all the video and I take care of all of everything else to get that house sold. Now, if staging needs to happen, it's going to be a little bit higher commission if I'm paying for that.
But if you're paying for that, then it's going to be the two percent. And I do have uh, I do have real uh, you know people that come to me and say, Brian, look, it's a million dollar house. Could you do something different on this? And the answer is yes, especially if they're buying something from me. If they're selling an eight hundred and fifty thousand dollar house and buying a one point one million dollar house, then absolutely yes, I'll be able to do some different things on the listing commission because I have a little bit of control over that. They determine what they're willing to pay me, and I get to say yes or no. I can't force a commission that is illegal in Canada because we are simply the facilitator of the real estate. That's all we are. Professional facilitator of the real estate. That's what a realtor does. So at the end of the day, back to this, 2.0%. Anybody that listed with 2.0% to the competing realtor underperformed. They only got 86.78% of the average over bid which means that they only performed by 29,505 on average. That sucks. You should fire that realtor immediately. They don't know what they're talking about. They've never done the math. They're asking you, please list your house with me and underperform by choosing me. Why would you do that? Makes no sense. So then... 2.25. There were only two houses listed at 2.25. One of them underperformed because it was overpriced at the beginning. We can't really use that as any math. There were only two. Not substantial enough. 2.5% commission, though. Look at that. So 2.5% commission averaged 128.5% or 45% of the average overbid. So it overperformed, massively overperformed. And the average there was 43,603, 673, average. Now the average overbid was only 34,000. This overperformed. Giving the competing broker 2.5. I don't care what you give the listing broker. The listing broker should give you a discount. They should want your house to overperform. And they should say to you, and in all of my listing appointments, I say, please pay me less. But please pay the competing broker more because they're doing all the work. When I get a sign in your ground, I can create more opportunity for me and my family by advertising on your lawn. So I give you a discount for placing my sign on your lawn because I create other opportunity. The listing creates opportunity for me. That's what you're giving me is you're giving me an opportunity. When you don't give me a listing, what you're doing is you're saying, Brian, you suck and I don't want to give you any opportunity. I'm going to give that opportunity to a different realtor. Now, that's my ADHD brain. I'm not saying that that's what you're saying to me. <laughs> but you can see how competitive I am with this stuff. I know this stuff inside and out. This is the stuff that's important if you're selling your house. The rest of it doesn't matter. Gee, Brian, do I have to go and take this green wall and paint it white? Who cares? Doesn't matter. Unless it's a really ugly green, then yeah, it matters. But if it's not an ugly green, it doesn't really matter. Because what matters is the commission structure to the competing realtor to overperform the average over. And pricing it right. It also matters too. But now let's do the math here, shall we? So what's the difference? So if I paid a 0.5 extra commission, Okay, I'm going to have extra cost, aren't I? Okay, well, if the average selling price was five hundred and seventy-two thousand last week in the city of Windsor, which it was five seventy-two, if you paid 0.5 more commission here, 0.5, your commission would have been two thousand eight hundred and sixty dollars more, two eight sixty. But you would have, on average, gained fourteen thousand dollars more, fourteen grand. Who cares if you have to pay 2860 of that to overperform? Because you still net overperform by 11308 Who wouldn't spend $2,860 today to be given 11308 If I came to you and said, hey, I would like to give you 11300 I would like to give you, in essence, 
$14,168 today. I'd like to give it to you. Would you take it, please? You'd say, sure, absolutely, yes, I'd love to have $14,168. But then I'd say, hey, but I want back from you, as soon as I give you $14,168, I want you to give me $2,860. Okay, that's still great because you're still up $11,308. You overperformed. Fire, instantly fire. Any realtor that comes to you and says, yeah, we only need to pay the competing broker 2.0. No, because you're going to underperform mathematically week after week after week after week after week after week. 2.0% underperforms. You need to list at least at 2.25, at least at 2.50. Because you will overperform and put more money in your pocket. Every realtor knows this. Every realtor is watching my channel. I've got realtors tuned into this channel. They want to know competitively what I'm doing. Yet they go out on their listings and they say, hey, you know, let's list your listing at 2%. So Buckingham here took a listing on Marin's head at 2.0. It, it, it underperformed by 14.7%. Right. Let's just go down the list here. Find the ones that underperformed. Deerbrook took a listing at 2.0 and it just got even. Right. Pinnacle took a listing at 2.25 and this is the one that was overpriced at the beginning. It was 4.99 on Partington, 4.20 Partington. Who would have ever paid $500,000 for a house over in the city of Windsor? It's not worth $500,000. There's nothing over there worth, well, there are some places worth $500,000 over there, but definitely not this one. And it underperformed, it only sold for 4.65. So they overpriced it there. Um, but if we look at, um, uh, do, 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 the ones that underperformed here. Do, 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 do. Uh, here, Deerbrook took a listing on McGuire, negative 11.7. Uh, LC Platinum took a 2.0, negative 114.7. Uh, Remax took a 2.0, a negative 44.1. Royal LePage took a 2.0, negative 44.1. Remax took a uh, 2.0, negative 67.6. Remax took a 2, uh, 2.0, negative 2.8, or Buckingham, negative 2.288. Notice how Buckingham's doing listings at 2.0 and they're underperforming. That's interesting. There's another mass, massive Remax team that does all their listings at 2.0 and they all underperform. Yet they're one of the most massive teams on the planet here. And they specialize in the less expensive houses as well, too. So they're really doing damage to people that can't afford to have damage done to them, in my view. It's just my view. Um, and then Remax took a listing at 2.0 and it underperformed by 147%. So at the end of the day, yes, Remax sells houses, but they might be under, might, notice that word, might be underperforming. If I added them up, I'd be able to tell you that if I added them up by, you know, company to company to company because I could take this information and disseminate it differently as well, too. It's all information. It's all data sets that I could show you. Don't list with this particular brokerage because they typically tend to underperform. I can break that all down. I've got all the math. It's all here. Math is math. Data is data. Doesn't lie to us at all. So gives you some good points on the concepts of competing broker commission. You want it to be higher because if it's higher, you will put more money in your pocket. You'll have more offers. You'll have more traction. You'll have more activity and you will do better from a financial perspective. Week after week after week, I show you the math here on these videos. Call me today. We'll get your house listed at a reasonable competing broker commission. We will give myself a discount. I will do all of the work. I will take care of all of the professional video. I will, I will star in the professional video. I will put my sign on the lawn and I will create opportunity for you. We will overperform the sale of your house probably, depending upon what commission structure you choose to pay to the competing broker.
and I'll do it at a discount. I don't care. I want to help you over exceed the average selling price. Thanks for tuning in. If I can help you, 519-995-6145, 519-995-6145. And if you are a senior citizen thinking about selling your house and you're above 55 years old, you need to call me. I am the only full service real estate firm specializing in senior citizens in the city of Windsor and can handle every part of that move, depending upon how you want to pay. If you want to pay it individually, yes, you can do that. If you just want to pay it out of the commission structure of your house, yes, you can do that, and I'll take care of it all. All you have to do is call me, and we'll figure out what's the best way for you to be able to get your house marketed and sold. 519-995-6145. Have a great day. Bye-bye.